were well tonight offensively. Um, you know, out of rhythm, out of sync. Uh, you know, we definitely um, didn't play the way we wanted to play, the way we planned to play, and uh, and and I would say that for the entire game. You know, we had a couple stretches where we we played okay, but really didn't play the way we wanted to play offensively. Uh, defensively, we we weren't great either, but you know, not not a disaster. Uh, but just not a great game from us. We just didn't have our best stuff tonight, and uh, you know, we got a game seven on our home floor. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve. Obviously, you were in contact in the fourth quarter, but considering you knew how desperate this team was going to be facing elimination at home, I mean, in your mind, do you feel you kind of gave this one away really early from the start, giving them that big lead? Well, it didn't hurt to have a, have a tough start, uh, for sure. You know, we, we uh, it's a common theme here. We've given up tough starts. We've clawed back in, but haven't, you know, had enough. And, and frankly, haven't played well here. Um, so, well, I mean, you can point to a lot of things, and, and we uh, we definitely have a lot to clean up. And it was one of those nights where you could just tell we didn't quite have our fastball. So, um, you know, but that's that's what this is all about, is, is persevering, is, is finding ways to to come back and bounce back. And, and that's why we were able to push through and finish second in, in the East so that we'd have game seven on our home floor. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Steve, I have two for you. First, I'm just wondering if immediate thoughts on potentially how to slow Chris Middleton in game seven. I know you haven't watched film yet, but. I mean, obviously we, we kind of let him out of the bag tonight. We just got to play better. I mean, we put him on the line when we didn't need to. We gave up a couple open shots and transition and then uh, on offensive rebounds, things like that that get someone going. So, you know, we got to take away some of those situations um, and just play a little better, a little harder, a little more uh, concentration. And if we add it all up, I think we can do a better job. Secondly, I'm, at least to my eye test, James looked to do what you said, feel like maybe he had tested it out and he knew what his limitations were and looked more comfortable. How did he appear to you? Yeah, I mean, clearly he made some shots. Um, you know, he, he did some things. He, he certainly rebounds, assists, steals. So James was, was better tonight as far as um, what he was able to do. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's tough. He's, he's really limited. And it's not, he, you know, he can't, he can't do a lot of things that he's accustomed to doing. So I'm just I'm grateful that it, it doesn't appear that he has any setbacks. And uh, if anything, he, he played a little bit better. So, but a tough, tough position for James, you know, to, to be out there trying his best, trying to help his team and, and not be able to do or move the way he normally would. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I have two as well. It, it seemed like there were multiple times during the game where you guys would get within striking distance, make it two possessions, five points or so, and then they would go on that big lead, as Greg said. Do, do you chalk up the maybe being the energy exerted to get to that point as to them getting that big run right after, or maybe something else that could run to that? I, I would say that's fair. You know, we we didn't look like we had, a, you know, a, a, a ton of energy all night. You know, I think we wanted it. We just couldn't find it. And, uh, you know, when, when you, you know, can't find that rhythm, it makes it even harder. And so we, I th and it's, it's kind of chicken and the egg, you know, is the, the rhythm because you, you don't have the energy or is the is, is it a compounded, you know, because you don't have a rhythm. So. It was just not our best game. We didn't play well. Lots of things we could have done better, improved on for next game. But um, you know that, like I said, it's it's now about how we uh, respond. And then just the, the three point shooting, nine for thirty. You talked about not playing your best offensively. It seemed like you guys still got some decent looks throughout the game. Do you, do you like the shot selection? Do you think some of those were forced for fouls? Well, I mean, we didn't create. A, I don't think the, the way we normally do, but we certainly had some good looks. I thought in particular in, in, in the first half and in stretches, we had a lot of looks that we just didn't knock down. Um, but overall, I didn't like the way we played offensively. Um, like I said, we just looked a little, a little slow, a little um, stagnant and uh, got away from what we do best. But, you know, that, that's sometimes how it rolls in the playoffs, ups and downs. You have a great game. You come on their home floor and uh, things look different. And now we get to go back to our home floor and hopefully play our best game in the series. Jared Greenberg with Turner. Coach, you've talked a lot about the newness of this team and, and finding out about who you are throughout the course of this series. How much of those offensive struggles tonight 
would you attribute to that lack of chemistry that this team has? Um, I think only a little bit. I mean, I thought chemistry has been really good. I just think uh, we were in a situation tonight. Guys were, you know, I think uh, a little fatigued. We didn't have our best stuff. And we just, you know, we're facing maybe a few too many things that were going against us, you know, in the, in the big picture, you know. Um, so that wasn't our best stuff. I don't know that it was chemistry. There's definitely aspects to our game that are difficult when there's so many, so much change and so much newness. Um, but tonight, it just didn't feel like we had the balance, the step, and, uh, and that thrust that it takes sometimes to, to play offensive basketball.